experience recently which can't compare to the problems and uh, suffering of the many people who are leaving their own countries to find freedom. But it has made me feel a bit like a spiritual refugee. It's simply been moving from one place in the same country to another just a few miles up the motorway. And the only hazards that I've had to negotiate have been motorways and minor roads and traffic. But actually it's finding a new home and it's all the changes and differences that you experience in that process, in particular finding a new church. We've been welcomed by a church, but when you realise that you want more than a welcome and you actually want to belong to something, then you suddenly realise that there is a bureaucratic process to go through, I guess a bit like the asylum seekers and refugees, because there's this what I call the AAA process, which is uh, application, approval and acceptance. And in fact, you know, the church can uh, appoint a small committee to come and interview me and uh, make sure that we're good enough basically to be members of the kingdom of God, part of their church family, which uh, is a bit like the bureaucratic process that the asylum seekers and refugees have to go through to decide whether they're appropriate for a particular country. And uh, I really hope that one day the church will realise that this is not a very friendly approach, that Jesus uh, invited us, welcomed us, and asked us just to follow him. We become members of, of his family because he chooses us to be brothers and sisters. And I hope that one day the church will realise that this bureaucratic process is very unfriendly and unwelcoming, and one day will become this, this harbour of hope in which there is a welcome and an invitation.